Welcome back, Eagles. These are your weekly announcements. Our theater program will be going to a one-act play clinic at San Jacinto Junior College on February 24th. They will receive valuable feedback on their performance. The Apple Springs elementary educators have been hard at work in their creation of a learning lab. The following video will explain its purpose. The learning lab is designed for learning through play for early childhood, which is considered pre-kindergarten through second grade. So all of those classes will be utilizing it. It's designed for kids to go through all of their TEKS and standards, but in a fashion where they're doing them through play rather than doing, sitting down and doing worksheets. Research has shown that if a kid, if a child can learn things through play, it usually takes about 10 repetitions, where if they're doing them sitting at a table, it takes 20 to 100 repetitions to master a skill. That's the reason we decided to go with this format for these kids to be learning.
Hodge to hang out with the friends. Grandfather, Charlie and the Junior this year, and the middle daughter of Sean and Bailey. Charlie plays a lot of basketball, softball, and is cheer. Charlie also loves to spend time with the family and friends. Crowning this year's team is our 2020 King Mason Suds. Mason likes to be outside on fish and hang out with his friends. Our new basketball homecoming king is Jason Shelton. Tuesday, February 9th, the boys basketball team played against the Natchez Tigers. It was a hard fought game, but sadly our boys no lost 52 to 25. And on Friday, February 12th, the boys played their final basketball game of the season on the road against Kennard, and the results are posted online at ASIC.com. The baseball and softball teams have begun to start and plan practices. The first baseball game of the year is scheduled for February 23rd at Grapewood starting at 6 p.m. On February the 19th, our softball girls will be competing in the Groveton Tournament. This has been your Eagle Sports. Now on to weather. I'm Aaron Parker, and this is Wacky Weather. A glory, also known as a pilot's glory, or the glory of a pilot, is actually an optical phenomenon. First observed by mountain climbers in the days before air travel became common. It's not created by the shadow of the plane, but it can appear concurrently and in the same place as one. Glories are created by the backscattering of sunlight by tiny droplets of water in the atmosphere. The size of the rings for different wavelengths of light varies. According to the average diameter of droplets and their distribution, to see a glory, the viewer has to be directly in between the source of light and the water droplets, which is why glories frequently occur with shadows. Love! Cupid, hearts, chocolates, cards, and flowers are everywhere. It's Valentine's Day. On February 14th, Americans celebrate love and friendship. The origins of Valentine's Day are unclear. We do know that the ancient Romans celebrated the Feast of Lupercalia, a spring festival on the 15th of February. Nowadays, people often ask us of their loved one and greeting cards. Probably the first greeting cards, handmade valentines, appeared in the 16th century, as early as the 1800s. Companies began mass producing cards. Initially, these cards were hand colored by factory workers. By early 20th century, even factory lace and ribbon strewn cards were created by machine. Perhaps you will get, give or receive a card today, or celebrate your family, or that special someone in your, another way. Valentine's Day also gives people a, a chance to reflect on the meaning of love. 